Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are with Train Future Civil and Structural Engineer. Today, I will be showing you how to design a steel roof in Prota structure. Now, looking at this right now, this building is a church building, and as you can see, it is sitting on a rat foundation, as you can see, it's just there, and also having a pad foundation, also. So, out basically, we have two types of foundation here which is a raft foundation and also a part foundation and as you can see here yeah, that this is the church auditorium as you can see it here and then the reason why we chose to use a steel roof is because the span of this particular level is very very wide so timber roof cannot be able to um, carry the carry the load of the roof on this area so we now chose to use um, a steel truss to carry the to carry the load of the roof as you can see it here and also based on the span so timber cannot be able to span all through than this area so right now i'll be showing you how to design for this steel roof just now so as you can see that we have already modeled all the steel roof and also performed the the full design so right now i'm going to take off i'll take off all the steel roof and then show you how to model this just now okay so let's begin for the steel roof design just now okay so as you can see it right now that we don't have i have um i have taken off those those steel roof right as you can see there those steel truss so right now i'll be showing you how to model the steel truss which you just saw in the previous clip so right now i'll have to go to my plan view for the story 2 and I'm on, on my on my story 2 i'll go to my plan view just now i'll click on this place navigate to plan view here so on this place right now we are now trying to model the steel truss for the steel roof here so i will now go to this place here as you can see this icon here or you go to this place steel design and then go and click sorry yeah design and then go and click on steel truss but I can just go here right now and still get my icon here so I'll go here and then click on steel truss you can also get these icons here on these two members as you can see it here so I'll go here right now and click on this place steel truss and then when I click there it will ask me to as you can see this this uh, morning here this, this is like an instruction say pick two axes of insertion for the members insertion so I will now go to this place right now I want to start my steel truss here so i'll click on this point and it spans all the way down to this very place here and i'll click there the, the dollar box appears so i will now, now have to choose it, the type of steel truss which i want to use so on this place right now i want to use this type of steel truss as which have a hip as you can see there which have a high pitch here so i'll choose this one right now now on this place on this place right now i want to have a cantilever um, a can't lever just like an eve of 400 so I'll go here and then put in my eve of 400 millimeter and also here to 400 millimeter and then I'll go over to this place right now this apex vertical offset which is this place here I want my vertical apex to be 2500 millimeter so I'll put in the value there and then I'll click on this next one here as you can see now that we have just it have just um, increased if you want to reduce it you can also type to reduce it but in this case I want to have this this apex to be very to be very high so that it can allow ventilation to pass to to like enter into the church auditorium so right now again on this place right now I want to put in this place which is I want here to to have I want this this distance of this cord to have one point two so i'll have to put in the value there once than 200 millimeter and i'll click on empty space here as you can see that this cord value right now has not increased so again i'll go again just now and then go down on this place just now and then at uh, this place here i want to have this place to be into four spans so i'll put in the number of spans here to be four and once i put that right now here i'll divide into four but here right now is, is three but if i put four right now it's change to four as you can see it here i'll do the same thing for this other side again and say put four here and i'll click on this place okay so right now you can now see what i've just done just now and then i will now go to this place and then click on this place that is your model joint as fixed okay so i'll put that and check that option 
and I'll go down again here and then on this place I'll leave this place at 0 and at 0 that the top chord extension to be 0 and this to be 0 and then I'll now go to this place called here members on this member right now on this member you have you now have to choose your you now have to choose the members of your of your steel truss so on this place right now you can just double click or just click on this place and then you will see the properties of what you want here so with this member which I have here I'm okay with this member of 100 of of 100 of 100 for for this equal for this equal angle and then also I want also the thickness to be 8 but if maybe you want to change it and you right there you can just click and then change what you want to change you can just click on this place right now and then you will see all the values which you want as you can see there you can choose to use 90 and 90 but i want to use 100 by 100 by 8 as it is there you can also go and choose 10 but you have to make all this all this uh, all this all this um se selection when there when when there is a failure on any of the members then you can now come and go and increase your size of your of your trust member but in this case i'm okay with what i have so i'll click on this place select and i'll click on okay and then i'll now click on okay with this right now click on okay okay so right now you cannot see that we have just inserted our slab our, our sorry our first trust so if i go here right now and then click on my 3d view here click on 3d view to see you cannot see the first trust just now as you can see it here right now okay so i, I I will now go over again back to plan view back to plan view again to model for the other ones so i'll go again right now i want to have my my uh, my trust and that trust here now since i've already done one of the trust it will take the same properties of what of what we have already set so you don't have to set again you just set the trust settings just once so i'll go again right now and then click at this place i don't want to have my trust in each of the columns i want to have one truss and leave a column and that truss again leave a column and that truss so right now i'll place on this other one here okay and then leave a space again for the column and then place another one here so right now i have how many truss in total one two three um four and the five in total so right now i will now click on escape key or just click on this place escape and then go to this place here just now and then click at this place to see our 3d view click here right click and say 3d view and then click on escape okay escape so you cannot see what we have just done just now okay you cannot see how we have now um it said all our stitch was so right now we will now go ahead to now and insert our uh, what they call pull lines so we will now go to this place here called pull lines here you can see the pull lines icon here or you can also see it here also you can see it here pull lines so i'll go here right now and just click on my pull lines icon here now on this same instruction here always look at this place it's a pick two trust for the for for inserting the the the, the member so right now once you click on your pull line icon you have to click on two of the trust so i'll click on this place and click on this place the dollar box will appear right now now on this place right now i'll click on this place to choose my profile which is my which is my steel section for the pull lines so on this place i want to use uh, i want to use upn 100 so i'll click on this place and then choose click on the upn and then click on 100 you can choose any other one which you want to use but i want to use 100 and then i'll click on select and then i will now go again right now click on what they call okay here now on this other place right now i want to put in my value this my value here offset the first offset as 75 because it comes with a default of 200 now the reason why i say 75 is because i don't want uh, much distance of I don't want much distance from the pull line and the edge of the truss so I want it to just be 75 from the face of the truss inward so I'll go here right now and put 75 and type here again 75 again for the other end just now and then click enter so if I as you can see it right now we now have a 75 um, difference 75 distance from the edge of the truss to the to the point where we have our pull lines the same thing happens on this other side also on this other side also the same thing we still have um 75 75 distance from the edge of the 
draw us to the uh, to the place where we have our first pull lines okay so right now again i will not have to now and insert the load for the pull lines okay and i'll go here right now and then click on load here now on this load right now for these pull lines you will have to add our load in this case i'll add two loads the first load is for the the first load is to cut is to be on this on this three pull lines here which is this mid span pull lines and also on this other one again mid span pull lines and the second load will be at the at, at this top apex here for the pull lines here and also at the beginning of these pull lines and also at this place so right now i'll go here and then add my first load my l1 will now be i'll put my l1 to be three point five which will be at the at, at the edge of this uh, which will be at the beginning of the pole lines and also at the midpoint at the at the apex of this pole line and then also at the ending of this place also so i'll go again and then add again and say l2 this l2 i want to use 2.5 the reason why i'm having two type of load is because the load on the the load of the roofing sheets on this at at this place and at this place we will we, we, we be more more than what we have at this place so right now i'll assign i'll have to assign the load of this pull line for pull, for pull line 12 and pull line 6 to be 3.5 and also pull line um pull line 1 and 2 to be 3.5 why pull line 3 pull line 4 and pull line 5 will be 2.5 okay because they are they are miss pumps so right now i'm gonna and uh, i'm gonna apply my pull line load for pull line one and two to be 3.5 so i'll click on this place right now on on, pull, on on p1 which is here and then choose my first load which is 3.5 and i'll say okay you will see the load drop down just now and i'll go again and say pull line two as it is here and say p1 l1 L which is which is load one and i'll say okay okay so you can see that right now and i'll go again and click back here and then say assign okay you can see it there i'll go again on this place right now for this pull line three four and then um, five and i'll assign it to be l2 which is the load two i'll do that right now do the same thing here and do the same thing just here now on this pull line l6 i want to have i want to use this i want to use this 3.5 because this is a, this is at the apex which is at the peak okay so i'll go there right now at, always at the peak has carries more load than the span than the pull lines at the spans so i'll go here and then click at this l this and then go again and then this is l um, pull line 12 so i'll go and select pull line 12 and also apply that pull line 12 l1 which is also at the peak okay so right now I'll go again and apply pull line 12 pull line 11 10 and then 9 should be 2.5 so i'll go pull line um 11 2.5 okay and then pull line 10 and then pull line 9 and i'll apply this and then pull line um se se 7 and 8 is is at the edge so it, it that will carry much load than the one at the spans at the mid span so i'll go there and apply L l1 and also this p8 which is p8 here also l1 okay that's fine okay so right now you can now see how we have just applied all the load as you can see there right now so we can now see we can also cross check if they are all there you can see they are, they are all there i can now go right now and then go and select and say okay so with this right now we have now inserted our first pull line using all the loads which which we have also applied all all the load from the um from the roofing sheet on the pole lines so right now we will have to now and insert other pole lines because we have just um, done the first pole line as you can see there and we have also and as you can see the also the edge distance between the between the truss and the first pole line is 75 as you can see there as you can see just now so right now we will also go again right now to now and insert the rest pole lines so since we have already done the first settings it will take all other pole lines we are setting now as default so right now we'll go right now and then click at this place right now pull lines here and then click at the first one here click on the first truss and then second truss to insert and then click on ok because we have already done our settings if you check our load you can see that all our load are just there so once you're done with the first settings to take as default and they just begin to insert all 
all the same similar ones so i'll go here right now and click on this place and then click um this trust and then this trust and i'll click on ok and then i'll go again and click on pull line icon and then click at this place target the trust click at the trust and then click at the trust here and then say ok and then i'll add I will now click on escape as you can see there right now so you cannot see how we have modeled this just now you can see there we have successfully modeled this um this this t roof as you can see there for this short building now the next thing to do right now is not gonna run the full building analysis with the load of this of this trust right now we now transfer to the column and then we will also check back for the for the for this for this car foundation and also for this part um for this part fund foundation footing if they are if they will be able to carry the load and also we'll also check if the if these columns will be able to carry the load of this steel roof because because as uh, because as as you can see this um um as you can see what is carrying this this um these trusses are the columns at the edges here which if you check on the plan view here you also see that just now on this plan view here you also see that what is carrying the this this draws is this column and also this column although we will check if this if this column will be able to um, carry the load from this draws that is when we have done the building analysis and that will be on the part two of this video so right now we have come to the end of this part one and the part two we will we, we, we will be coming out in the next um, few days in, in less than two days we will be um, posting the part two of this video okay so right now, thank you so much and god bless you if you have any questions for what you have done i'll see that you should just drop your comment down below and then we will just reply you as up okay so thank you and god bless you goodbye